What you guys? My name's Zeus. Welcome to the Zeus Dad's channel. I'm gonna walk his in a minute. Hmm? You sure? I've got to do a little video first for my subs. I know it's very boring for you. Hey, I know it's very boring for you. Yeah, that's your tail waggling, mate. That's what you're looking at. You're gonna give me a high five. Yeah, give me a high five. Yeah. Hey. High five. Yeah. No, no. This is my pooch, Snoopy. And he's a dude. Isn't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> hey. Yeah, don't you back at me. You know, this is really boring, Dad. I want to go out and do my wheeze. I want to do poos and sniffies. I've got better things to do than being filmed. I know I'm gorgeous. But there we go. You can speak. <laughs> ah, 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 get back. Sit on the couch. Up, 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 up. Come on, up, 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 up. Go on. Sit. Look at that. You've got to say hello to your fans. Yeah, you don't have to wave to them, do you? You can speak. Woof. Woof. Uh, 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 uh. You can say a bigger hello than that, can't you? No point whistling to them. No point whistling to them. Are you going to speak? You stay there. You can say hello. Woof. Uh, uh, uh. Woof. <laughs> that little woof is. All right, come up. Sit. I don't want you to bloody give me I-5. Are you going to play dead? Are you play dead? Are you do it on the floor for everyone to see? Hmm? Go on then, play dead. Bang, bang. Good lad. You do twist and roll over. Go on then, roll over. Roll over. Good boy. <laughs> I'm a dude, I am. I told you I was a dude. I'm really talented, I am. Hey, do you want to show me your piano move? Sit down. Come here. Sit. Stay. That's a play dead, isn't it? Up. 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 Some tricks with my pooch first before I show you everything. Sit. It's a piano. Now that's his piano move. So basically he's on the keys of a piano, you see. And he's giving me a bloody good wash. Shall I get on with the video? Hmm? Shall I get on with the video? Is that a yes or no? Is that a yes or a no? You sure? You sure? Yes or no? Really? Positive? Absolutely. <laughs> hey. High five. That's a high ten, that is, dude. Right, well, I've got to get in this vid, and I've got to show everybody what's been donated to my channel. Then I can take you for a big wee wee's and sniffies and poo poos and everything else you want to do. That which is quite disgusting, isn't it? Hey. So you can say goodbye. You can say goodbye. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> right. Anyway, that's my pooch. Wonderful boy. I'm Snoopy. So. After all that, let's get on with this little bit here. Now, um, you're not going to let me do it, are you? You're going to jump on here. That's it. Lie down. Stop moaning. <laughs> you're a big moany pooch, aren't you? <laughs> aren't you? Yes, you are. <laughs> right, just give me five minutes. Okay, now this is a quick video to show you uh, some of the things that have been donated to my channel by subscribers, people I've never met before in my life. Now, before I do that, I'm just going to stick, I can't film the whole area because uh, as I said, this is my home and I've made it clear that um, um, I'm not going to film everything. You have to keep licking me and stealing the show. Um, yes, this is our home, and of course, obviously, I don't want to film everything. 
So I'm just going to grab something here, which I forgot to do. This represents something. And I should put that here, because I forgot to thank somebody. Right, a little bunch of PS2 and PS1 games, okay? So what we got here, right, okay, now this, these PS1 and 2 games, which is a fraction of what I was actually lent, is to show that a very kind subscriber um, lent me and trusted me with his PS1 and PS2 discs. And yes, I'm talking about you, Ash. Ash 81 b 4 u something like that, who's finally uploaded a few more videos after about two years of absence. Um, loves retro games, he shows you all his collections. He's after a few CD32 games, by the way. He's got about six short, so please tune into his channel and see if you can find them. I'll put a link to his description of this video to his channel. And this, as I said, uh, there was a few PS1 and 2 games I wanted to record, and I couldn't because I didn't have them, and they cost a fortune. So he was good enough to trust me and send them to me so I could record the footage and send them back. And some of these games uh, are worth an absolute mint. I think one of them was Raiden 3, was it? It was a PS2 game. It was Raiden, I think it was Raiden 3, but it's going for about 80 quid on eBay. Now, I could have been somebody that just would have took it and not sent it back, but, you know, he knows he can trust me. And they went back just as good conditions as they came to me. So uh, I really thank you very much for that, Ash. As I said, this isn't, these aren't the actual games. These are just to represent some of the games. But he must have lent me about 15, 16 PS1 and 2 discs, which was brilliant. That saved me a ton of money buying them on eBay. So thanks very much, mate. I really appreciate that. Next thing is this. This is a tape lead for the Amstrad um, for the 128k machine the uh, 6128 if I remember it yeah 6128 that goes in the side so I'm allowed I can actually load tape ROMs whatever you call them into the actual original hardware and that was kindly donated to me free of charge from a company called Cool Novelties brilliant shop really really friendly people too uh, nice bloke called Andy so if you've got any leads that you might need he's a bloke to talk to and I'll put a link to his shop in the description of the video also okay next thing is this little beauty this is as you can see an SD to IEC SD card drive for the Commodore 64 and I was umming and ahhing about getting one. They're about 60 quid for a good one anyway. And I wasn't sure about it until Camille's. Yes, mate, thank you very much. Another subscriber, an old subscriber of mine. Again, I've never, never met these guys in person or gals, whatever. So I'll tell you what, mate, I'm so convinced you'll love it. I'll go after with you. And he donated 30 quid to my channel. So that was absolutely awesome. And uh, this guy is... is such a genius with producing Commodore 64 pokes for me. Uh, that was before I got this, which usually contains trainers on them anyway, the disc images. But before that, he was producing pokes that were never in magazines, and I was able to do a lot of my long plays, Commodore 64 long plays, on my channel because of him. So thanks very much, pal. One of my long-time subscribers and, uh, and a top man, top man. Now, this. ba 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 bum now, you Amstrad fans know what that is, don't you? And you're probably thinking, what the fuck? Zeus has got an Amstrad. What the fuck's he doing? He's always slagging it off. Well, this, uh, how can I put it? I, I couldn't, without emulation, I couldn't do 1 to 8K games, which is obviously the disk drive. See, I can't write the discs. A mate of mine who, well, a mate of mine, um, a guy I know, I got to know very well, um, who fixes my machines in Wales and looks after them, it's top man, um, could write the discs for me. So he lent me one some time ago, a bit of a bad condition one, it was temperamental. In the end, I kept getting more and more and more and more requests. And I, I just didn't want to buy an abstract. I'm not a fan of it. That's just the way it is. Sorry, but it is the way it is. I wasn't a fan of it. So, um, subscriber, Jonas, not in this country. In fact, I think it's only Ash who who got me the uh, who lent me the discs well, uh, is in Britain. All the rest are actually oh, I'm calling novelties of course, but all the rest don't live in, in in this country. And he said, right, sod it. I know you're having an hour and about it. I don't really like them, so sod it. Here's fifty quid. Go and buy it. 
and for 50 quid I have got one of the most mintest conditioned 60 one two eights I've ever seen this is over 30 years old and there's not a single dint dent or anything on it it looks absolutely brand new no scratches nothing the keys are immaculate absolutely immaculate and there you go there's this drive of course and uh, he said, get yourself. And Ian, who's, who from Mutant Caterpillar Games, I'll put a, a link of, to his shop in my um, on this video, if you live within land, or even overseas. If you want, he can bring any console computer pretty much back from the dead. He'd literally die trying to revive it, resuscitate it. He won't give up. And he produced this for me, an absolute mint condition one too. Beauty for 30 years old. As I said, it's got to be one of the most excellent condition... Uh, 6128s you've ever seen not a scratch not a dent mark on it it looks like you just got out of the box brilliant so thank you very much ian definitely thank you very much jonas now this look at these what's in that silver box i ask you it is a load of dynamite actually it's not it's dynamite contacts it's full of 50 pound notes i fucking wish this these go together this is actually my Amiga A500 disc collection. This is what I started collecting back in the day. And they've been in this case all the time. So they're immaculate, they all still work, they've been looked after well. And here they go. Now the reason I'll tell you why I'm showing you this. Look at that lot. Eh? Eh? Now... Let's open that as well. Let's put them a little bit closer together. That is my entire Amiga A500 collection. In these two aisles, they're all shoot 'em ups. In aisle three, beat 'em ups up until about uh, roughly there. And then from there, we go to uh, Pinball breakout and puzzle to the about there and then from there all the way to there and these are platform games now the reason I'm showing you this is because this roughly represents the amount of discs that a top bloke from Greece and I'll say his name now Alex unbelievable mate uh, he's got a YouTube channel too doesn't do as much content as he used to but he literally wrote this amount of discs for me from Greece and all he ever asked for was the postage he never asked me if somebody came to me and said Daz would you mind writing all these Amiga discs whether it's in one or two sessions or five or six I'd probably say in the most nicest way will you fuck off no way but he had no complaints he was actually geared up for it and he did it and because of him I managed to literally fill all the gaps that I had that I couldn't get back in the day I couldn't fill in the day because when I used to collect Amiga discs the first thing I wanted to do is get all the games with trainers because I fucking love trainers I think it's brilliant that's what persuaded me to go for crack copies and a lot of originals apart from saving the money is that you used to put a disc in and you get a load of cheap menus you know infinite energy invincibility it's brilliant and some games you're not meant to complete on the Amiga they didn't provide cheat codes and the trainers let you do the long plays hence why I've done most uh, many long Amiga long plays um, but this is my own personal collection, this isn't his disc. But they filled, I was seeing games I haven't seen for 20, 25 years. In fact, there was games in this box I've kept here since early 90, 90 early 90s, and I never got around to playing until I started this channel. But let's just give you an example. Um, I mean, you've got, let's have a look, what have we got here? They're a bit tight because they're wedged in. Uh, let's have a look, what have we got here? Da -da -da -da. There's some I haven't even labelled yet. What's that one? Oh, wow. Hybris, eh? Cool. Now that is a game of awesomeness. No doubt about that. Um, most of the games I try to do, uh, I try to actually um, um, design labels for them. They're not, it's very hard to get these things out. That's the trouble. Uh, Chaos Engine. Chaos Engine 2. 
put that in there there's, there's so many but like I said this is my personal collection he just helped me fill the gaps with stuff I didn't have double dragon laughable conversion double dragon 2 double dragon 3 uh, final fight yeah no, people don't like that conversion we say no more what else uh, there's Stardust there's so many other games I still haven't got round to labeling yet oh, wow of course how can you forget Turrican 1 and 2 see I've always took care of my discs they've always been sealed in a box never in sunlight um, I never just simply wrote in biro on them to um, to, sh to tell me what they are. I always like to decorate them. Barbarian 2, Dungeon of Drax. So they've got a few originals. If they're good enough, I'll buy them. Bio Challenge. Bionic Commando. Uh, what else have we got in here? Jinx. Uh, Lemmings. Uh, what else have we got in here? Xmas Lemmings. Well, there's bloody tons of stuff in here, isn't there? What's this? Oh, yeah. Um... Let's have a look. Uh, that represents Wolfchild. I know it's... Oh, and there's a second disc of Wolfchild. I know what they are, which discs are what. Um, can't think of anything else to really... Tetris 2. Is Tetris in there as well? I think that's Pinball Dreams. It is Pinball Dreams. So, yeah, I was just a massive fan. I've got loads more labels to put on. They're all printed off. Got some classics in there. Plutos. Uh, Alien Breed, got all them on the A500, Tower Assault, what's in here, the Cannon Fodder, tons and tons and tons of stuff, I can't really remember, Renegade, bad conversion, Red Heat, Shadow Fighter, oh, so, so many Amigas, Vixen, yeah Amigas, Anything else? What we got back there? Anything? Giganoid. Giganoid. Oh, level and score. Yes, that's a game I've completed without cheats. With a score of 1,054,470. Something like that. Impact. See, this is all breakout clones up here. Um, can't really remember what's back here. Vector Storm. I know what that is. Vindex. Zerion. I think it's called Zerion. X out, which means it's a bit tight. That means Z out should be up there somewhere. XP8, of course, Z out's back here, isn't it? It's a Z, Z out. So, yes, that really represents roughly the amount of discs that he wrote for me. There must be over 300 there. And this is my uh, sports and racing uh, section. So we've got Paul, Chase HQ, Chase HQ2, uh, Crazy Car, Crazy Cars 2, Fire Forget 2, Highway Hawks, but I haven't labelled that yet, Jaguar XJS, Jimmy White, Lead Storm, Lotus, Lotus 2, best racing game ever on Amiga, Lotus 3, what have we got here? Nitro, like that as well, it's quite a good game. Outrun, yep. Overdrive. Uh, what else have we got here? Prime oh, see? It's good when you do labels, isn't it? Look at that. Speedball 1 and 2. Look how good those discs look, see? Better than originals. I always took pride in labelling my discs. Supercars. Uh, three discs, Supercars 2 that is. Super Hang On, Test Drive, Summer Olympiad, Winter Olympiad. So anyway, and this section here is my demos and utility discs. Car Animations, Desert Dream. Best, one of the best demos I've ever seen, Desert Dream. That is unbelievable. When you watch that for the first time, it's incredible. So there we go, that's my Amiga 500 collection which just basically represents all the discs, roughly the amount of discs uh, Alex wrote for me. So thank you very much, pal. Really appreciate that. Okay, now this... 700 pound. 700 pound was donated to my channel.
by one subscriber. Cash. Well, when I say cash, it was done by a bank. In three instalments over the space of, I think, a year. I think it was last year. It might have been a year before. I can't remember. But, now I mean, when you say, is it is it laundered? Uh, wow, I'm not going to say his name because when it comes to money, um, I don't want you uh, pestering him or harassing him. If he wants to donate to my channel and continue to, then God bless him. He's more than welcome to. Um, but, you know, I've always asked him, are you sure? Are you sure I felt guilty? But he said, no, 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 I enjoy your content. And because, and the thing is, the, the, the more money I get, the more days I can take off work and produce the channel, you see? Because I don't have my... Uh, videos um, monetized I don't have adverts on them so I might have to go down that route you know unless all of you cough in I mean what's it a pound well, yeah come on come on you can all cough in one pound couldn't you just imagine that one pound out your pocket for my channel all the work I put into it you see the more days off if but if I don't get the the revenue come in I have to either put a load of adverts up cut down on the uploads because I have to uh, go actually physically into work more often and I'm full-time worker as it is, but uh, with with donations, I can take unpaid leave and uh, concentrate on the channel. So that was, and I'm still baffled. I was always shocked the first payment I got. I just couldn't believe it. I didn't believe anyone was that stoked of my channel to do that. But you really appreciate the amount of time and effort I put into it. So that one subscriber over three payments within about a year donated £700 so thank you so much, mate. I never, ever, ever um, can tell you how much I appreciate that. It really did help. But apart from that, no, I've not had any other donations at all, money-wise. No one has. And, and, you know, I don't... I've had a few things like, do you want this? Do you want this old console of mine? Would you like, would you like this old box disc of mine? And the thing is, no, unless it's a rarity. I, 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 I'm one of these people that think, that if it's got no use in the house, I'll get rid of it one way or another. I don't like clutter. I don't like stuff. I don't have stacks and stacks of old retro consoles built up and old, you know, cartridges. It's not like that. I might have a box of cartridges, my old Spectrum original cassettes I've still got, and, of course, my, my games computers I've still got. But otherwise, if you'd want to donate, even if it's a pound, it will help. And that's my dog whinging because he still wants to want to go bloody walkies, don't I? I've been out here for bloody ages, Dad. I want to go to bloody walkies. Yes, I do. Um... Yeah, so that that was um, that really helped. But yeah, I mean, I'd appreciate it if any of you would like to donate to the channel, um, because as you know, I've done so many videos, I've done so many commentaries, I don't get paid for it, and uh, they're not monetized. And do you really want me to put adverts all over them? I'm trying to avoid that. But what what else can I do? So uh, you know, um, every little helps is what I'm saying. And if you feel like donating just a little bit, then then please contact me because it does help. And I can put more time and effort into the channel. All right, but that 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 was just by one subscriber. Again, I've never met before. And I said, if it's laundered money, mate, may it please continue. <laughs> I have no problem getting rid of it for you. All right. <laughs> so if you've got to get rid of it in a hurry, you know where I am. Thanks, pal. And uh, he's not in the United Kingdom either. So he's another um, overseas subscriber. Thank you very much, pal. So that's a few goodies there. And while I'm here, as it's nearby anyway, this is my Amiga, my Amiga 500. The very Amiga 500 that I've had since day one, 1988. And it's never gone into the repair shop. It's never yellowed. It's in immaculate condition. And that's how I record my stuff. And here I've got three external disk drives all linked up. It's very useful, it's just a little table, bring it along, there's the modulator, which goes in the back. Now, if you wanna know how I take the picture from the, from the Amiga, it comes out here, the video out of the modulator. But that might change shortly because I've got a couple more packages that came my way today. I got home and here they were. So um, I'm going to show you them in a second. But first of all, here's my Street Fighter 1 arcade machine in motion. There she is. Very proud of that because of tier text. I've got to thank tier text in a way because of those making a big fucking cock up of the uh, conversions. It forced me and promised myself that I would eventually go out and buy the original arcade machine. 
as if to say, fuck them, a big middle finger up to them for cocking it up. And I did, and I'm bloody proud of it. So that's my Street Fighter 1. Let's just, uh, credit button, let's whack, uh, credit button. Let's put it number one, there we go. There you go, so I've got to come here. Let's get the big bad eight foot British punk up. Birdie. So it's flickering obviously, it's very, you can't, it's a CRT tube, so. Oh, nasty headbutt. Now I used to play this with one hand. Like this. One hand. I can master it. I'll go through the game in about 10 minutes. And I remember doing that back in the day in the arcade and everyone just couldn't believe what I was doing because they, they didn't know how to do the controls. It was a game, no one had seen anything like it before. No one had seen anything like that before. Hurricane kick. So I can do it all one-handed. He's a big fucker, isn't he? That's the original birdie, not the fucking imposter in the Alpha series in Street Fighter V. That's how he's meant to be, a big fucking punk rocker. My favourite beat cat beat em up character of all time. Try again, kiddo. So that's my Street Fighter 1 arcade machine. Let's see it blow up. Hopefully it won't take the building with me. Oh yeah. So anyway, that's my Street Fighter 1 arcade machine. I'm very proud of that. Today, what arrived was this. <laughs> One small package. Like that. I'll put here on the table with all the other goodies. That's another donation. I've got a very good idea what that is. And this big bastard. Again, that has been donated by an overseas subscriber to my channel. And this was all because I started to do MAME emulation, the arcade games. So, um, oh, will you stop whinging? Always whinging, ain't you, eh? Hmm? You want to go walkies, don't you? Don't you? You want to go walkies, don't you? Yeah, I know you do. You're going to sit. Hmm? Look at that innocent face. <laughs> you can speak. Me. I didn't ask you to sneeze all over me, did I? Hey, woof, 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 I pray to the God, I know you pray to the God, I am Zeus, and you will sit down, <laughs> otherwise I shine lightning bolt up your ass. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch off for a minute and I'm going to try and unpackage this bit and then uh, we'll have a look at it together because I've yet to see it. I wonder what it can be, I really hope it's full of money or at least the packaging is is uh money that'd be something anyway okay i'm gonna switch off for a minute and uh we'll um see what it is all right hello back again um i've opened the, uh, the jiffy bag and this is what i got another donation and there it is from cool novelties there you go there you go he's uh donated a couple of leads before and this is for the Commodore Amiga 500. And it is a SCART lead. Put it around, there we go, SCART lead color. Because normally I, I take the footage from the modulator, RF being the worst signal, and then composite being the much better signal. And if you want the top, the best you can, then obviously you take it from the, uh, is it 21 pin? I can't remember. Something like that from the back of the Amiga and go straight into your TV or DVD hard drive recorder, whatever, via SCAR, which means you don't have to have that modulator sticking out by seven inches. So there we go. So thank you again, Andy. Cool novelties. So if you want any retro leads, that's your man. Thank you very much for that, mate. I really, really appreciate that. I'm um, looking, for, I'm really looking forward to that when I can plug the Amiga in and uh, over there, I'll put it there and uh, see if there's any difference in picture. I'm sure there will be. 
But uh, yeah, it's uh, RF is terrible. But I had I had RF output for years before when we had televisions, uh, non widescreen CRTs. They never had SCART inputs back then. It was just RF. So uh, used to it. Once I put composite in, once we had composite uh, sockets, it was like wow, it's high def, even though it isn't. But it was compared to RF signal. But now the top one obviously is SCART RGB SCART. So I'll be checking that out. So thanks very much, Andy from Cool Novelties. Check his shop out. Now here we go. What is in this? I've managed to. <laughs> Um, I've managed to actually stand the, blade, the bloody hell out of it open. Let's unwrap this thing. I got a good idea what it is. I know what it is. And as I said, it's been donated to my channel. I haven't had to pay for it. But I haven't seen inside it yet, so you're seeing it as well. I hope there's not a snake in here. Not a booby trap, is it, mate? Um, right, let's take some of the styrofoam away. And there's another bit of styrofoam there. Take that away. And <laughs> what's this? Look at this. He's put sweets in there, bless him. <laughs> Milkshake Haribos. How about that? <laughs> oh dear. And yes, viewers, it is in date. They are in date. Look at that. Oh. Thank you very much. There's some more bits. What's this? Uh, oh my god, I never heard it. Spunk! <laughs> I won't even ask what that's about. Mrs. will find that very funny. Gummy. I guess that's chewy gum of some kind. I hope it's not a spunk flavour. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> There's another one. Well, I didn't expect that. So, yeah, we got a few uh, sweeties. That's that sweet of him. Uh, Da, 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 da. Right, let's have a look. Oh, we got a note here. Hi, Darren. Uh, I hope the postal service didn't bang it up too much. No, it didn't, Leo. It looks like it's come in very good nick, actually. So, uh, yeah. Um, his real name's Leo, but I know him YouTube wise as Jonas, and he's donated this to me because ever since he bought himself a MAME arcade machine, he no longer needs this. And now he knows that I'm playing MAME uh, games by emulator, even though I've got all my joy pads um, hooked up to it. Look at the size of this monster! It's a fucking huge arcade controller thingy. Hang on, I've got to get some of this out of the way. Let's, let's put that there. I hope I'm not giving any of you vertigo or whatever, moving the camera. I'm trying to be as steady as I can. <laughs> Sweet. Soppy sod. Uh, let's put that on my Amiga for the moment. <laughs> Sacrilege. I never put anything on my Amiga. Let's put that there. Let's spin this around. Like that. Look at the bloody size of that. It's an arcade trackball, one and two player, buttons, SUB, USB connection. I don't know if you just plug it in and it automatically connects to MAME. I might have to watch some YouTube videos to see if it's um, actually how to hook it up. There's a fucking monster! It really is huge. It's, it's, it's a huge original size arcade machine size control panel. I can't just tuck that under the couch. So this is going to be really ideal for uh, beat em up games like your your Street Fighter series, your Killer Instinct. Because try playing those games on a fucking PS2 or 3 joypad or, or your um, iBuffalo Nintendo joypad. You just can't do it. That That's a good game. That's like that would be used for golf and um, I think Combat School. There's a version of that that uses that. The only thing missing on it and I'm not sure whether to do it, is a spinner, which I would probably have positioned here somewhere for games like Tempest and Arkanoid. I mean, I've got them working with a controller, so it's good enough. I plan to do a long play of the arcade version of that because uh, my MAME is, uh, my MAME emulator has got an inbuilt cheat uh, thingamajig, which allows me to cheat on every game ever released. It's brilliant. You just press the tab button and then it gives you a menu of cheat. It's an extra menu. You have to actually download the cheats in a, f a zip file so uh, I can do that 
so I'm quite happy. Before it was just keys and it was horrible, but now I've got the control pads working, PS3 control pads working. But yeah, it would be nice to have a spinner, but have you seen how much those things go for? They're going for about 70 odd quid, a decent spinner. All it is is a bloody weight and a, and a thing that turns. 80 quid, I can't justify sp spending that much. So that's, there you go, there you go guys. If you're wondering what can I donate to the Zeus Dash channel, can it be PS1 games? Can it be PS2? No, no, no. Not really interested in that, guys. Thank you very much. If there's something else I could really do with, it's one of those spinners. Um, preferably, um, I suppose it would have to be, I'd probably like a silver one, actually. I mean, they do come in black, and everything else is black. Should I go with black, you think? A black spinner? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care, actually. I think they come in blue, red, silver, and black. But there you go. If somebody feels like donating something or want to help me out with something a spinner where I can drill a hole there and plug it in and then I can play Tempest how it's supposed to be played but there you go the X arcade controller my fucking god Wait, bloody... oh. see if I can jeez oh. oh got buttons there as well must be so I have to like play pinball with it yeah, I'm trying to move buttons. There's buttons everywhere. <laughs> oh, no. There's no instruction manual for this, mate. Oh, blimey. Let's have a look at uh, more buttons. <laughs> There's buttons every side of it. Let's see if I can um, just. Uh, there's a little light there. There's a couple of buttons on the back as well. Bloody hell. It's also a. I don't know what that is. Switches. No idea. But there you go. My God, that will have to live in the attic when I'm not using it. I can't put that in my game box. It literally is about two foot wide. Wow. Wow, Jonas, what can I say, mate? Thank you very much. That is really, really kind of you. And it must have cost you a little ticket to get it over here to the UK. But just to give it to me like that, um, Awesome, mate. That's really generous of you. Uh, like I said, I'm not often the sort of person that likes gifts. I prefer money. I know that might sound a bit greedy or callous, but it's not the case. It's the fact that I'm just a person that doesn't like building up, uh, like cluttering up my house with things. If, if it's not, if I don't use it, I tend to get rid of it, you know, unless it's very valuable. So, um, yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, I could quickly show you an example. These will never be used again, but I know they're worth quite a few quid. These, these old audio cassettes, reel to reels. They're going on for eBay now for around 80, 90, 100 pound. And they're sealed. So they're good display. It's just, you know, for ornaments kind of thing. But yeah, um, God, if I knew now, then what I knew now, I'd have bought loads of them. The asking price is stupid. So, oh, there's some lion pictures for you. Anyway, um, yeah, there we go. Thank you very much, Leo. Very generous of you, mate. I really hope you're enjoying your main arcade machine. I bet you're glad to get rid of this now. He did say that. He was glad to get rid of it. It was cluttering his, his uh, front room up. And uh, no use for it now since he's got a main machine. He spent a couple of thousand on that, I think, that machine. But this itself is worth a couple of hundred. 150, 200 pound. Awesome, mate. So thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for that. And thank you for the rest of you that's donated to my channel with leads and uh, lending me D, uh, PS1, PS2 games, writing me discs, you know, helping me get uh, other um, stuff for my old machines, donating and helping me buy them. I, you know, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. So thank you very much, everyone. And I shall enjoy those sweets at some point. A bit worried about the spunk gum though. <laughs> I don't even want to know. Don't even want to know. Maybe it's a trick gum. Maybe I should give it to someone I pretend to like, but I actually don't. That gives me a thought. Yes, anyway. Okay, right. Well, I'm off. I've got to take my pooch out for walkies. He's been very good, but very, very patient, haven't you? And you want to go walkies now, don't you? You want to go play frisbee? You want to get your frisbee? There's his frisbee. Yeah, well, it's full of water, so we can't. I'll tell you what you need to do. You need to go and get Daddy's shoes, don't you? They're not out there, are they? Right, OK, go and get Daddy's shoes. You'll find them. They're upstairs somewhere. 
it come back down with them uh, in a pair always does never fails you can hear him rumbling around I think upstairs he's looking for them now but here find them okay guys thanks very much for that video I hope you enjoyed that just to show you a bit about uh, the things that have been donated to my channel and uh, my street but one arcade machine so you finally saw it in motion there and I'm very proud of that so until next time guys uh, as I said and if you feel like uh, donating to my channel he's got <laughs> there, yeah. um, if you feel like donating to my channel that will be absolutely awesome of you oi drop them <laughs> I said bring them don't chew them Gonna go, wait, put them down, drop it, come here. Sorry about this, come here. He got confused because I just realized I've put my shoes in a place he can't get to them because the door's shut. So he's gone upstairs and got his mummy's slippers by mistake, haven't you? Anyway, yeah, so uh, yeah, if you do feel like um, donating, I really appreciate it. It does help, and I can put more time into the channel as always. And um, yeah, that's what I'd like to do. But if I don't, then, as I said, as I don't advertise, put ch adverts all over my channel, then I don't make any money at all. It's just donations. So uh, there we go. But, uh, yeah, everything's brilliant. And as, uh, going back, money-wise, £700 from that one subscriber was just mind-blowing, absolutely mind-blowing. Of course, I'm not expecting any of you to cough up that sort of money. But, you know, a pound here or a pound there would, would, does help. It really does. So uh, I'll leave that image with you. That is awesome. Unbelievable. Okay, that's all I've got to say. Until next time, Zeus out.